Charles Mills Manson, an American criminal, cult leader, and musician, is one of the most infamous figures in American history. Born on November 12, 1934, Manson spent most of his early life in and out of reform schools and prisons. It wasn't until the 1960s that he would gain notoriety as the leader of the Manson family, a cult that operated in California. Early Life and Criminal Background Charles Manson was born to a 16-year-old mother, and his early life was marked by neglect and instability. His mother was a criminal, and he was often shuffled between relatives and juvenile centers. His criminal activities began early, involving petty crimes, and gradually escalated to more serious offenses. This pattern of behavior resulted in multiple incarcerations. Formation of the Manson Family In the late 1960s, Manson, who had an interest in music and a charismatic personality, attracted a group of followers, mainly young women in California. This group, later known as the Manson Family, was a quasi-commune that arose in the context of the counterculture of the 1960s. Manson's followers were heavily influenced by his beliefs, which included an apocalyptic race war he termed Helter Skelter, named after a Beatles song. The 1969 Murders The most notorious crimes associated with Charles Manson and his followers occurred in July and August of 1969. These crimes included the gruesome murders of several people, the most famous being the actress Sharon Tate and her friends. Tate, who was pregnant at the time, was brutally murdered in her home, along with four others. These murders were characterized by their extreme brutality and the cryptic messages left at the crime scenes. In a separate incident, the Manson family also murdered Leno and Rosemary LaBianca, a middle-class couple in Los Angeles. The murder scenes were marked by similar cryptic and disturbing messages. Trial and Conviction In 1971, Manson and several of his followers were tried and convicted for these murders, although Manson himself was not present at the crime scenes. His ability to influence his followers to commit such heinous acts was central to the prosecution. Manson was found guilty of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder. He was originally sentenced to death, but this was commuted to life imprisonment when California abolished the death penalty temporarily in 1972. Legacy and Cultural Impact Charles Manson's impact on American culture and psyche cannot be overstated. His case was a disturbing embodiment of the dark side of the 1960s counterculture. The Manson family murders contributed to the end of the era of peace and love, instilling a sense of fear and distrust in society. Manson's life, particularly his ability to manipulate and control his followers, has been the subject of extensive analysis. His case is often studied in the fields of psychology, criminology, and sociology. Moreover, it has inspired numerous books, documentaries, and films reflecting an ongoing fascination and horror with one of the most chilling figures in American criminal history. Charles Manson died on November 19, 2017 in prison, but his legacy continues to evoke interest and debate over the nature of evil, influence, and the darker aspects of human society. The influence of Charles Manson's ideology. The ideology that Charles Manson propagated among his followers was a bizarre and apocalyptic vision that combined elements of various religious and philosophical beliefs. He was influenced by Scientology, the teachings of the Process Church, and his own interpretations of the Beatles' music, particularly the White Album. Manson convinced his followers that a race war, which he termed Helter Skelter, was imminent. He believed that this apocalyptic event would lead to a new social order, with himself at the helm. Manson's Musical Aspirations 
Manson's interest in music played a significant role in his life. He was a self-taught musician and songwriter, and he used his music to communicate his beliefs and to influence his followers. In 1968, he recorded an album of his songs with the hope of securing a recording contract. Although he failed to achieve success in the music industry, his musical endeavors brought him into contact with several prominent figures in the entertainment industry, including Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys, who briefly associated with Manson and the family. Psychological Profile and Manipulation Techniques Psychologists have long studied Manson's personality and his ability to exert control over his followers. He was described as a charismatic leader who utilized techniques of psychological manipulation. Manson's ability to identify and exploit the vulnerabilities of his followers was central to his control. He used a combination of drugs, sex, philosophy, and his own interpretations of spirituality to maintain a hold over the Manson family. The Manson family followers and co-conspirators.